Hello everybody and welcome back to how to build a 105 Thunder Chief. Ten minutes at a time. There you go. Hit y'all with a little old school. Not so old school to be welcome back to how to build a B1 bomber baby. That's too old school. I know, I want it back too. But we got done the tea for now. We got the thunder chief. But I got all my framework done. I got it all cut out for the second wing, so it shouldn't be so bad. Got all my glass trimmed. And uh, over here, I have the wood to mount my servos. Okay, this one is, is a this one is an is a auxiliary normal servo mount plate. This one over here is the one I'm going to try first. Surprise you guys with. So over here is for the flat. I got that all cut out, trimmed. Someone asked if I was cutting through that carbon fiber with that razor blade. Shoot, pulling on that razor blade was so dull it wouldn't break through skin. <laughs> But, uh, and I didn't, it, you, I didn't dent that carbon. I didn't even scratch that resin hardly to get into that carbon. So, uh, you know, that foam cut through so easy. You could just throw a blade. And it was done deal. I got my fiberglass edge glued on down there. I had to heat it up in a couple places, but it turned out pretty good. I got it in between these two. Two. See right there. Then over here, I'll be able to put my regular tape. Because it'll be right out there exposing the open. Oh, guess what else I did? Got some lightning holes in that big old tank piece. I think I took about a pound off of it. <laughs> well, that helped a bunch. I got rid of one of the bolts that was right there. And uh, plus the aluminum and the wood. Just so I just made a couple more smaller ones. It's still, it was way overkill. That's still plenty good. That thing's tough, man. You know, you know what I mean? That ain't going nowhere. And uh, especially with that good. You know, we had to put wood behind it because uh, aluminum just don't glue to nothing. You know? I had to bolt it to a piece of wood and glue the wood. That's how you do that. Now what I gotta do is wax up these edges. Man, I'm almost out of wax. Wax up these edges real good. Get right to the edge, but don't get on that part. I don't want to cause any thing to make that thing not stick good. But we don't want to glue our molds together either. Now you get it close. You can get it pretty close without touching that fiberglass. You know? Wax on, wax off. Wax it on, wax it off. It's a country song. All I do is wax it off. <laughs>
So you gotta get right next to that edge, because when we was trimming it, you know, I trimmed that pretty close, and I, if I shaved off any of the wax, I wanna make sure it's covered. I'm gonna make my mold wanna chip, you know. I want no chips in the molds. This one here, this one, I'm actually going to put in after I connect it to. That way I can see in here and make sure everything's where I want it. I got my flap holes already drilled in here, see, because this one you can't get a drill bit in, you know, because it's inside the wing. The rest of them you could. But, uh, so I put them in my jig, and I'm going to show you when I lay up my flaps and my ailerons how cool this is going to be. But uh, you're going to have to wait. There's some more suspense for you. <laughs> Cliffhanger. Keep you tuning in next week. Beautiful. Now I'm going to do that to the other half. Then I'm going to just put my part all on with a paper towel. And uh, get ready to join them together. I'll make another video when I start, when I get me some glue mixed up. So we'll just end this video with me waxing. How's that sound? We wax it on and we wax it off. Old Bobby song. Everyone always says that in one of my physical comments. Right? Yeah.